I guess it's progressively gotten harder. I mean, that's good. It put, takes you out of your comfort zone and makes you adapt to new things. It's just, you know, steadily building up to when you leave and you need to go to grad school with the workforce. There's, the classes are smaller, and so you have a better relationship with your professors. I talk to my friends who are in the bigger schools and everything, and they have, you know, a couple hundred kids in one engineering lecture. It's like here, everyone knows your name and everything, and you can go to office hours and talk to a professor and know that 70% of the chance that they'll be free. Very optimistic about where it's going, and um, the seniors now and everything, they're graduating and they're comfortable. They got some of them, they've gone and taken the, FB, the FE exam, they've got opportunities already lined up, you know, they're taking advantage of internships, connections, and that's, that's what it all comes down to. I mean, when you go for a job interview, when I went for an internship last summer, they didn't say, you know, what's your, what's your accreditation or anything. They said, what's your experience? Where have you applied this? What type of classes have you taken? In an internship, and I learned this more, like in the real world, you're not expected to memorize every formula or every law of science. You know, they have the place I worked, they had a whole bookshelf. And it was really cool because I'd be like, oh, you know, what does this mean? They'd pull this book off the shelf and look it up. And so I'd look it up and find it, then be able to apply it, what I was working on. And that ability to apply what you've learned and that broad concept and then go back and refine the small details, um, that's, at least in my experience, um, that was one of the most valuable things I gained. My capstone project, I'm working with uh, seven other guys and we're building an electric motorcycle. One of our uh, customer needs we want to meet is uh, we need to, he wants to know that the motorcycle can break 100. And so this is our alpha prototype. We're going to move into our beta hopefully by after February. And uh, we got 97 and a half miles an hour with a four and a half mile an hour headwind coming at us.